Coming just into focus, just like that. Then we have got three phase neutral and earth plug and coupler there. Just for reference, we've got a blue plug there that's single phase 240 volts. But we're not interested in that one because we're looking at the red ones. I've just put the blue one in there just for reference on size and uh, pin difference basically. So let's get that blue one out of it then. That's the normal 240 volt one, okay. Right, that's gone. So we're left with today's video subject then. There they are. Now, what we've got up in front of the camera there, even though it's quite a bit larger in diameter, that's the reason why I had the blue one come in. You can see the diameter difference. It's a quite a bit bigger in diameter than that to accommodate all those extra pins, okay. Let me just leave the blue one there. Okay, might as well leave it in shot of the camera. Three phase neutral and earth then, 16 amps that is on there. Okay, the funny thing is, this blue one, if you had a blue one, the same diameter as that, it's 32 amp with the, uh, with the three pins in it. Okay, so if you've got a blue one like this with three pins in it, and it's that diameter, it's 32 amps. But this is only 16 amps, and we've got the, all the specifications there on that label. Okay. So, as we can see then, we've got the, the five pins on that. Obviously, one's earth, one's neutral, and you've got phase one, two, and three. And there's your five pins in there. The coupler then, same thing. And, uh, yes. Obviously speaking, when you open it up, there'd be five holes for these five pins to go into. Like that. Okay. There we are. Now, with this, it is a six o'clock earth hour connection. Okay. There's the keyway down the bottom there. There's your earth terminal. Okay. When you're working out your earth hour position, you always look at a socket, not the plug. Okay. Uh, let me figure out what is what there for you. Right, that would be your earth, your neutral, okay, and then phase one, two, and three, I believe, something like that. The way I work it out is I turn the thing upside down, okay, and rather much like a domestic wall socket, the neutral will be over to the left there, okay. So it's uh, earth neutral and then phase one, two and three. Okay, but obviously speaking the keyway always goes down the bottom like that. So there's your earth there, there's your neutral, phase one, phase two and phase three. Okay, let's see if I can get on the details on that Palazzoli cover. I should be able to because this camera is particularly good for zoom. I'll just get that angle right, there you go. And if I get the zoomer, uh, there you go, you can see that on there. 16 amp, 6 hours, 200 or 346 volts. Okay, then the 200 would be a single phase voltage, okay, phase 2 neutral. And then 346 volts will be phase to phase. Or it can be 240 phase to neutral. Or 415 volts phase to neutral. Or phase to, uh, phase, to phase should I say. Okay so there's, there's two like voltage bands on this. 200 or 346 or 240, 415. IP44. Okay we've got some kind of standard in there. That is for, that is some kind of plugging standard for some country. Rather much in the UK we got the British standard kite mark. Whatever country uses that standard is, uh, where well, there it is, it's in there. Quite why they don't make reference on this to BSE N60309-2, I do not know. 
but there's that's probably just a part number down there, 720146. Uh, and it's a Palazzoli. Now, given that Palazzoli is probably it uh, Italian, that there might be the uh, the standard, no, the, the logo that's used in Italy. I don't know on that. And then we've got the CE logo down the bottom there. Uh, no other markings on it. Okay. So there it is. So whether or not this was supposed to be, uh, be you know, not for sale in the UK because it doesn't make any reference to BSEN number, I don't know on that. But it somehow made its way into the country and at one point in time I ended up buying it. Let me get this one up in front of the camera for the plug then. Is that going to focus? Whop, there we go. See, as you can see then, it says 16 amps on it. 6 hour, and then there's those two voltage bands again. 200 to 346. Again, 200, phase to neutral. 346, phase to phase. Or, 240, phase to neutral. Or 415 volts face to face, and then there's that until logo once again. IP44, and we got 70146. What is on there? Oh, we got a 720146. Okay, so 720146 on there, and there's 700146 on there. Okay. So, there you go. That is probably just a part number then. It's not a standard of any kind. So, there it is. But no reference on that to uh, BSEN 60309-2. What about that blue one? Does that say anything on there? Uh, no, I don't think it does. It just says IP44 and then TYP248. Which is uh, quite clearly not. I'll just bring it in front of the camera for it's slightly off topic here. But there you go. So that one doesn't make any reference to any plugging standard in the UK either. There you go. But yeah, that's that blue one. But we're not we're not interested in the blue one. Right, let's look at the pins in the plug then. Now this plug and this coupler, they are wired up, okay. The more established subscriber on this channel knows what these are used for. But let's look at the pins in the plug then. Now obviously speaking, this will be all flip reverse to what's in that plug. Because these pins have got to match up in there. Okay, so there's your terminal down the bottom once again. Okay. Uh, yeah, because it is flip reverse... Uh, I keep forgetting what flipping pins are what. Right, as your neutral over to over there then. So that would be the neutral then there. Earth neutral, phase one, phase two, and phase three, of course. Okay, because it'll all be flip reverse of what goes in there. So there you are. And there it is. So that really is it then. I don't really know what else I can say on that, but what I will say on my previous channel when I brought these up in front of the camera, they weren't wired up. Okay, and as such, after that video, I then done another video on these where I take them apart and we examine the terminals inside these. But the way these work, unlike some plugs where you can, let me just lose the plug. This part here is the same whether it's a plug or a coupler. Let me get the plug. Okay, you can see the part on the back there. This bit. From where my finger is to the back. Okay. Yes, this, with this one, it says Palazzoli on it. Palazzoli. And then around the other side, it says Multimax. Okay, Multimax patented. Now, I've got other ones of these. Okay, exactly the same style of this, but they're blue coloured, but that's nothing to do with it. And around one side it says Palazzoli, and around the other side it says Luden. Okay, now Palazzoli is Italian, but Luden is British. Okay, 
So there you go. And then the other side, this one says, yeah, Multimax once again. Multimax patented. But that doesn't matter, we're not going into that. This part here then, it's the same whether it's a plug or a coupler. And this red part on here, red, blue, can be yellow, doesn't really matter. That's a cord grip. This part that extends over there, it's like a one-way clicky-click thing. And when you tighten that up, those four things in there, they grip the sheath on the outer sheath on the flex. And that's what that's your cord grip. Okay, now to loosen that, you've got to get a screwdriver in that gap, twist it, and this part here lifts up so that you can then turn it anti-clockwise to unscrew it. And then once you've done that, somewhere on here, there it is, you've got to you need three hands to do this. You need one hand to press the screwdriver to push that in. You need another hand to get hold of that and another hand to get hold of that. And then twist it and then it all slides off down the flex. Okay, what I do is I put the screwdriver in there, hold it with my hand, and then the screwdriver handle, I'll press it up against my chest. Get that, get that, and then twist. And that's how I'll get my third hand to take these apart. But this one's wired up and I don't really want to go start undoing all this just so that we can have a look at the terminals in there. So what I'm going to do in another video on another day, I've got another 16 amp three phase neutral and earth plug and it's got a bend in it. Whack. Okay, you, know, you can see it's got a bend in it. And uh, we'll be examining the terminals in this one. In another video on another day okay so don't miss out on that make sure that you are a subscriber to Wayne's Electrical now whack the subscribe button give this one a thumbs up and there we are these you'll find them in the plugs playlist and uh, well a little bit later on in, in you know on Wayne's Electrical you will find what these are connected to and uh, what's, what on earth is going on there with that plug and socket Okay, so, thumbs up for this. These are in the plugs playlist, and I am off. I'd like to say thanks for tuning in for watching this one then. More plugs videos later, and a whole lot else besides. This one's been Full HD, 1920x1080p, with stereo sound on the camera. Cheers for watching this one then.